the CEF annual members meeting, which was presided over by the Minister of State for Labor, Employment and Industrial Relations, Davinia Esther Anyakun, revealed impressive growth figures. According to Honorable Anyakun, this growth demonstrates stability, progress and trust in the fund. As a member or a minister in charge of social security, I'm particularly interested in the strategies to increase the coverage and also give that legal uh, obstacle limiting the eligibility, eligibility threshold of the five employees uh, who were revoked. The NSSF Act, CAB 230, now enables the fund to recruit employees from the informal sector, the self-employed, and the public sector voluntarily. I'm therefore glad to note the fund has instituted strategies to increase the coverage from 11% to 50% of the working population by 2035. The Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Honorable Matia Kasaija, emphasized that the fund is preserving and growing the value of members' savings, having consistently paid more than 2% above the 10-year average rate of inflation for over a decade. He also declared that contributors to the fund will receive 11.5% interest rate for this year. Now, per section 36, part 2 of the NSSF Act, CAP 230, for the financial 23-24, I declare an interest rate of 11.5. Congratulations to all you members. We expect to do better. Over the last two years, the fund has grown from 18.56 trillion in financial year 2022-2023 to 22.13 trillion in 2023-2024, marking an increase of 19.2%. This growth is attributed to the fund's continued investment strategies in fixed income, real estate, and equities. Joram Paul Sonko for you.